Welcome to this channel, YouTubers. Today I want to show you what I've been doing with my uh, microwave oven transformer. These things are readily obtained from old discarded microwave ovens, or you can just buy one from eBay. Um, these transformers are capable of handling very high currents at high voltages. Typically, they uh, if you, you know, this is the primary, which is the thicker wire that's wound on the bottom here. You can see the thick wire right there, wound on the bottom. There it is. And uh, it has two inputs for the uh, thicker primary, and then it's got thin wire, which is the secondary right here. And one end of the secondary goes to the core of the transformer, and the other one usually comes out the uh, front of it like that. And this one has a wire on it. Now, uh, if you connect these things up to 120 hertz, you're going to get 2,000 volts out at about between 500 amp, uh, milliamps and 1 amp. And that's a lot of power. That's, uh, you know, between 1 and 2 kilowatts of power capable of being delivered by the secondary of this thing. So, uh, if you were to just take this end of the, prime, of the secondary, and put it near to the core, which is the other end of the secondary, you draw some small but bright thick arcs, but you wouldn't be able to draw them out very much because of the relatively low voltage. However, if you take um, a couple of microwave, you know, this is an MOT or microwave oven transformer, if you take microwave oven capacitors, and these are typically rated around mic one microfarad, and if you connect two of them in series, you get, you know, two microfarads, you can co connect three to get three microfarads, if you connect them all in in um, what I said series in parallel. Uh, so these are connected in parallel, two of them, and then connected to one end of the output. The other end, uh, I've just put it, connected it to a piece of aluminum plate. And uh, because these transformers have what's called a very high leakage inductance, when you short out the output, they're still uh, the uh, the inductance uh, drops to the leakage inductance, and at the leakage in, leakage inductance, and with one uh, uh, between two and three microfarads connected in series, these things happen to be resonant, so that you can short them out and still have a resonant situation. But when it's resonant, the voltage goes up significantly to several kilovolts, so you can draw some really long, bright, flaming arcs off of these things. Now, microwave oven transformers are extremely dangerous because of the high current they can deliver and they're capable of killing you if you get electrocuted by these things. The other thing is these capacitors can store charge, so they have to make sure that they're discharged uh, after use. And under normal circumstances, if this was in a microwave oven, the core of this transformer, which is the other end of the secondary, would be connected to the ground line. And I've not connected it in this case just because it would make it more lethal because I'm standing on the ground and if I were to accidentally touch this end there would be a direct uh, route to the ground through me so by not connecting in the ground to the core it keeps it a little bit safer in the case of accidentally touching uh, this one. And what I've done here is I've, let me show you this, how this is set up. So here's the capacitors, they're connected in parallel to each other, one end is connected to this the other end over here is connected to this iron nail. And I'm using a long chicken stick because of the danger of electrocution. So I don't want to be anywhere near the output of this. And what I'm going to do is show you uh, what the output looks like. Now, these generate a lot of UV light. It's basically like an arc welder. It generates a lot of UV light. So it's good to wear sunglasses or UV protecting glasses and um, uh, to avoid damage to the eyes when doing this. Because I'm um, using only a single transformer and because this thing draws so much power, these tend to heat up really fast. So you do not want to uh, be in a situation where you run it too long, otherwise you're gonna burn up your uh, microwave oven transformer and decrease its lifespan. So I'll just show you what the circuit looks like. So here's your um, microwave oven transformer. 
Here's your primary, which is the thick wire. Here's your secondary, which is the thin wire. The secondary is connected to the metal core of the transformer. One end of it is. The other end is free. And that's connected to two one microfarad microwave oven capacitors connected together in parallel. And that, that's one of your, uh, electro, uh, your outputs. The other one is connected to the core of the transformer. And uh, the, big, the uh, long chicken stick, which is basically PVC pipe, is connected to this one. And what I've done is just put an aluminum plate, you see that here, connected to the other one. So uh, let's uh, fire this thing up. I've got a long nail there, this iron. I found that copper melted with this thing, so I'm using an iron nail. Let's see what this looks like. And I'm going to actually use some sunglasses in front of this, in front of the lens of this camera because it's so bright that it uh, burns out the camera and you can't see anything. So we're going to put these, uh, these, these, these sunglasses like that and um, look at it through that so we can see, see it better. And let's make sure everything's in focus. And uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, switch it on. Make sure that your um, wires are connected correctly. You don't want any shorts, and you don't want to run this thing long because, as I said, it does heat up a lot. So that humming is the transformer in action. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw an arc off that aluminum plate. So here it goes. And those are pretty long arcs. Flaming off. One more time. I don't want to heat up the transformer too much. There you go. I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to do some slow motion for you to look at that. Well, thanks for watching that, folks. Um, my next plan is to um, make a uh, actually to take two of these and connect them, connect the uh, primaries in parallel to each other, and then connect the secondaries in series with you, with each other, and connect them so that they're um, so that they're in the right phase, so that I double the output voltage. So that's the next plan. I think if I connected them out of connected the secondaries out of phase, I would probably end up um, canceling everything out and getting zero output. So um, I plan to do that next, and then to um, put some kind of ballast in it because I think it would draw it. It would probably trip the breaker with two of them. So I'm going to put a ballast in and just hope that it won't trip the breaker. And I'm expecting to get less heating with a single one like this. With this resonant setup, I get way too much heating. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel if you like these kind of videos. Give me any suggestions uh, of things you'd like to see. Thanks a lot.